the blues and soul influences. And he suddenly found himself down in Memphis at the Royal Studios, and he called me and said, you know, this place is still here, and it's still fantastic. Paul Rogers is a British singer, songwriter, and multi-instrumentalist. In the 1960s and 1970s, he was vocalist of Free and Bad Company. After stents in two lesser-known bands in the 1980s and early 1990s, The Firm and The Law, he became a solo artist. A poll in Rolling Stone magazine ranked him number 55 on its list of the 100 greatest singers of all time. In 1991, John Mellencamp called Rogers the best rock singer ever. In 2011, Rogers received the British Academy's Ivor Novello Award for Outstanding Contribution to British Music. Was a, there was a moment when I kind of had to prove that I could actually sing, which is their music, you know, these guys really were at the cutting edge of this music when it was first formed back in the 60s. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Paul Bernard Rogers, but is also known as The Voice. He was born December 17, 1949 in Middleborough, Yorkshire, England, making him age 71 at the time of this production. He stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall or 172 centimeters. Rogers supports the charities Amnesty International and Racehorse Sanctuary. Rogers became a Canadian citizen on October 21, 2011 and resides in Surrey, British Columbia. He's written, recorded, produced, and released 30 albums since 1968 and has sold over 90 million records worldwide. Rogers has not had many relationships over the years. Rogers has a child from an early relationship who resides in his hometown of Middleborough, England. Rogers married Michiko Shimizu in 1971 and has two children from that marriage, Steve and Jasmine. The two children are also musicians and singers who formed a band, Boa, in the 1990s. Rogers and Shimizu divorced in 1996. On September 26, 2007, in Canada's Okanagan Valley, Rogers married Cynthia Kerala, a former Miss Canada model, exercise physiologist, and artist. Uh, here in England, you know, and it was kind of crazy and I was staying longer and longer and I turned to Cynthia one day and I said, you know, I, I think I live here, don't I? And she said, I think you do. Paul Bernard Rogers was born December 17, 1949 in Middlesbrough, England. He's the son of Nigel Allen and Elaine Allen. He has the oldest brother, Joe. He played bass for a band named The Roadrunners. Colin Bradley originally had the lead vocal slot but convinced Rogers to sing and in front of the band as he was primarily interested in playing rhythm guitar and his oldest brother Joe, who managed this band, supported the idea. Rogers joined in 1968 as singer-slash-songwriter for bluesy rockers Free. In 1970, they shot up the international radio charts with All Right Now, which Rogers wrote with the group's bassist Andy Fraser. In the 1960s, Rogers was working with Brown Sugar when guitarist Paul Kossoff heard him sing. Kossoff was so impressed with Rogers' voice that the two decided to create a new band called Free. By the early 70s, Free was one of the biggest selling British blues rock groups. By the time the band dissolved in 1973, they had achieved an uncanny level of superstar success. They'd sold more than 20 million albums around the world and had played more than 700 arena and festival concerts. In 1973, Rogers formed Bad Company then a prototype supergroup with King Crimson bassist Boz Burrell, Mott the Hoople guitarist Mick Ralphs, and free drummer Simon Kirk. By the close of the 1970s, Bad Company had recorded six multi-platinum albums, which spurred classic blues rock and rock staples like Can't Get Enough, Feel Like Making Love, Shooting Star, and Rock and Roll Fantasy. By the time Bad Company called it quits, they'd played to over 10 million people around the world and sold 30 million albums. Other highlights of Rogers' career include a show-stopping version of Otis Redding's Sitting on the Dock of the Bay at Atlantic Records' 40th anniversary party at Madison Square Garden in 1988, and his formation of a new group with Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin, The Firm, in the mid-1980s. Following that band's two albums, Rogers formed The Law with former Small Faces slash Who drummer Kenny Jones. 
Since the early 80s, Rodgers has also released a number of solo albums. They include Cut Loose, 1983, and The Morning After the Night Before, Northwind, 1984, both for Atlantic Records. His 1990s output includes Muddy Waters Blues, a tribute to Muddy Waters, 1993, Victory Records, and The Hendrix Set, a mini-CD released that same year. After a Bad Company reunion in 1999, Rogers switched over to CMC International, issuing the album Electric in 2000. Taking a break from his solo career in the middle of the decade, Rogers joined Brian May and Roger Taylor in a version of Queen for some live shows, one of which was documented on 2005's Return of the Champions, a double disc on the Hollywood label. In 2007, Eagle Rock Entertainment released a new solo album, Live in Glasgow, taken from a October 13, 2006 concert at Clyde Auditorium in Scotland. Released on both CD and DVD, it highlighted both Bad Company and free material, some of which Rogers hadn't performed in 35 years. Rogers continued to perform live with Queen through the end of 2009. Not long afterward, he reunited with Bad Company for a 2010 tour that was documented on two separate live releases. After this, Rogers turned to his solo career, releasing a collection of classic soul covers called The Royal Sessions early in 2014. Right, I'm told, is that um, digital hits your ear in steps like this, sharp okay. steps, whereas analog hits your ear in waves, so you get a full spectrum sound. Rogers made most of his money from his album sales. In 1974, he made $5.1 million, and in 1976, he made $3.15 million. In 1990, Rogers earned $1.5 million from the album Holy Water with the English hard rock supergroup Bad Company. In 2008, he earned an estimated $60,000 from the album The Cosmos Rocks with Queen. His estimated earnings from the live album Live in Albuquerque, 1976, with the English rock supergroup Bad Company in 2002 are $100,000. Paul Rogers' net worth is $14 million. Rogers lives in a one-acre flat lakefront property with a sandy beach and dock with mature trees. There are three buildings that come with this property, a 3,052-square-foot main home that features five bedrooms and three baths, a triple-car garage with workshop and additional storage, and a separate washroom for guests and a storage room for all your beachfront toys. The cars and bikes you'll find in Roger's garage are a Maserati Quattroporte, Ford F-150, Buick Enclave, Porsche 911 Spy, Bentley Continental GT. A Ferrari. A Mustang Shelby.